Hey everyone, Howie Fisher from Fisher's Flies. Thanks for checking in. Today I'm going to be tying a Howard Croston pattern. This is the Thread Quill Jig or Thread Quill Copper. It's a fulling mill pattern and a pattern tied by Howard Croston. Uh, for this one today I'm going to be tying this in a size 14 using a Hannock 490 VL and a Hannock 3.5 millimeter tungsten slotted bead. For the body of this fly, the thread, I'm going to be using UTC in 70 denier yellow. And I'm going to go ahead and get this thread started right behind the bead. And just take a bunch of thread wraps to jam that bead in place, make sure it doesn't move or slide around. And once I got it where I want, go ahead and snip that tag off. And for the tail on this fly, I'm going to be using uh, whiting tailing. This is a uh, Coq de Leon or CDL. Uh, and medium pardo uh, this is a pretty common pattern uh, really if you're looking for for a cdl color medium pardo covers a broad range of, of patterns and colors um, so i'm going to take about 12 fibers off of a stem you could do more you could do less preferring or based on your preference and i'm going to go ahead and make this tail about the length of the body and uh, I'm going to go ahead and I like to pull up on these these fibers as I work my way back so that way they stay on the top of the hook. Uh, bring my thread back up to the tie-in point and snip them off with my renowned scissors. Go ahead and check them out if you haven't yet. For the quill on this I'm using uh, 140 denier in brown actually. You can use black if you'd like, you can use 210 denier, you can use 3 out, whatever you have, floss. Um, Gonna go ahead and get that tied in uh, right behind the bead and bring this back. And as I work this back, I'm just gonna go ahead and build up a slight taper on this fly for the body. Uh, I also like to do this to make sure that yellow really uh, covers up the brown thread as well as the black hook. Uh, once I've got the taper where I want it, I'm gonna bring my thread, the yellow thread, to right up behind the bead. And I'm just gonna let it hang there. Now I'm going to take this 140 denier and I'm going to make open spiral wraps going forward. And as you can see, it just makes perfect, beautiful segmentation uh, on this fly for uh, what looks like a, a quill, uh, like a peacock, stripped peacock quill or um, something similar or a synthetic quill. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and secure that thread and then snip it off. And then I'm actually going to go ahead and whip finish this yellow thread uh, and change colors. So. Before changing colors, I'm going to uh, hit this with some Solares Bone Dry. Uh, this is a key part of the fly that makes it super durable and um, super effective. You can use thin, uh, whatever you have. Uh, once I get it where I want it, I'm going to go ahead and hit it with this UV light. Make sure it hardens up. Once I've got that where I want it, I'm going to go ahead and take UTC 70 denier in fluorescent fire orange, and this is going to be make a hot spot for the collar. I'm just going to go ahead and get that started with a couple wraps right behind the bead. Don't want to go too far back. Make sure you don't take away from that body. For the collar on this, I'm going to start with uh, one piece of peacock curl, and uh, the original pattern calls for just uh, hairs you're dubbing. Uh, I just like this peacock. Adds a nice little flash and uh, contrast. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get that tied in. Take about four or five wraps forward, secure it right behind the bead, snip it off. For the collar on this fly, uh, I'm gonna be using a combination of CDC dubbing in dark brown and Nature Spirit Disco dub in copper. Um, I like doing it this way. Just take a clump, pull it over, and take a loose wrap and secure that dubbing all around. Uh, this is much easier than trying to uh, wrap just one uh, feather around. And as you can see, once I get it where I want it, just fold it back over itself and looks uh, just about as perfect as can be. Once I get it where I want it, I'm gonna go ahead and whip finish and create a little bit of a hot spot collar in that orange. Then I'll go ahead and snip it off. Nice thing about doing this custom little blend is uh, you can add in a little bit of flash, whereas when you do a, uh, a CDC feather collar, uh, you just kind of get the CDC unless you uh, 
find a different way to put the flash in like as a, a, a under collar. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that with some solar as bone dry again, make sure that doesn't fall apart. Tie them up, fish them, let me know what you think.